In this video, we're going to select the background and get rid of it and just have it straight white. You can replace the background with any other thing you want, or you could just leave it white as we're going to do. Here's the before picture and the after picture. So let's open up our picture. We'll grab it and drag it to Photoshop. And this will open up our picture in Photoshop. We're going to start with our quick mask. And we can change the, the quick mask contrast here. What it's going to do, it's going to select pixels that are lined up together. And this process can take quite a while, so we'll just skip it here. Now, this magnetic selection tool isn't perfect but it'll give us kind of a rough selection here. So what you can do is you can use the quick mask. Quick mask, to use that you can best select the default colors by clicking on this little icon and that will give you the black with the white in the background. Now, if we hit the Q key, that'll give us a better idea of what we selected and what we haven't selected. In order to select more, we can use the paintbrush of this quick mask, and then we can color in here with the brush what we haven't selected. Now if you want to get rid of something you can use the eraser tool. So we'll use the eraser tool and this we have selected and we don't want it selected. So we have more control there. Now you can also use your magnifying glass to zoom in on the details and that way you can get even closer with your selection. Once again, we can zoom forward here. Okay, now that we're fairly satisfied with our selection, we can once again hit the Q and go to the layers unlock the layer by double clicking on it and making it into a new layer. Now it's not a background, it's a layer. So you can select, deselect, I mean inverse, and now we have our background selected. If we hit the delete key we'll notice now that we have the background as transparent. So now we can go select, deselect, go to the layers, have a new layer,
and drag that layer underneath and switch these around by clicking the switch foreground and background colors and with our bucket now we have the white background I would move the dog over a little bit select the dog move it over Type here. You can select all and choose an appropriate color. And I would like to be on top. And it's that easy.